What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video, guys. We have some epic WWE action figure news for you guys. WWE Elite Series 72 has just hit ringside collectibles with some brand new images, and I'm very excited to drop them on you. Oh, Charlie, what are you doing? Oh, what, what the heck was that? So as I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. And we're going to start off with probably the biggest disappointment of the set. And let's just, let's just look at this figure right quick. We are looking at the Elite 72 Velveteen Dream. And I am just thinking to myself, what in the blue hell am I looking at? I don't know what this is. I don't even remember him wearing this attire. He probably did wear this attire. I just don't remember it personally. Is this like the Honky Tonk Man attire? I, I don't know. Regardless, I am just... I, I just don't like this figure. I don't like it at all. It's very like... I don't know. It's definitely not his best attire. It's far from his best attire. It's the same head sculpt that we saw with his first figure. And it's they added bigger arms, which I really don't care about the bigger arms. Not a very big deal to me. I'm pretty sure that is different arms. They had like the Seth Rollins style arms last time. This is fine. I don't really care about the arms, but... And the head scan, again, isn't the biggest deal to me. I like that they included the headband. I like that they included the glasses. But the attire, and, and we get the, the North American Championship, so you have to give credit where credit is due. I do like the North American Championship there. But this attire is atrocious. I, I do not like this attire one bit. I think that the sculpt, the, the top half, where it's like his shirt split in half, is terrible. I, I do not like it at all. I, I'm not a fan of this figure at all. And one thing I'll probably do is I'll get this figure and I'll torso swap it and arm swap it just to make it even, you know, relatively decent. But I'm still not a big fan of this figure and I'm, I'm pretty disappointed in this figure. And it kind of makes sense why it took so long for them to show us this figure because I, I bet they would have gotten a ton of negative comments about this. But I, I am not a fan of this figure. I'm most definitely not looking forward to this figure, but I am. Uh, I was looking forward to seeing what attire it was, but now I'm just, oh man, this is not good. I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think of this Velveteen Dream? Am I, am I overreacting? What do you think? I don't like it at all. It's definitely one of my biggest disappointments this year as far as elite figures are concerned is this Velveteen Dream, but I wanted to get the negative out of the way because the rest of the set is pretty freaking fire, guys. Let's go ahead and start off with Buddy Murphy, getting away from the negative. Let's get into Buddy Murphy, and I do have some gripes about this Buddy Murphy. I, I'm just not a big fan of this head sculpt on Buddy Murphy. I think the figure from the neck down is damn nice. I love it. I think that the attire is nice. I like the sculpt that we got going on. The torso is perfect. I love the new sculpt that we got going on with the shorts. I love the attire, the black and white. It's it's not my favorite attire, obviously. Like uh, I guess the Chase variant will be the red version that we saw the render of, but this uh, everything about this figure is nice, except for the, I don't know what it is. It's like that beard. I don't know why the beard's so freaking dark at the bottom, but it's red on the top, and I don't know. This just doesn't it's not that it doesn't look like Buddy Murphy, it's just that it doesn't capture the exact likeness of Buddy Murphy, and I'm not sure how to feel about it. I'm just not a big, I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. I would love to know your thoughts down below. It's not the best head sculpt they've had by far, and with the true effects and everything, I don't know, I'm just kind of let down by it, but overall, I, th I do like the figure from the neck down again. <coughs> almost vomited. So getting into the rest of it, I, I really do like it though. I think it's great except for the, I don't know, the beard or like the head sculpt's just not my favorite. I'm just not a big fan of the head sculpt and uh, yeah, that's just not not my favorite head sculpt. But I, I do, I, I love the rest of the figure. I think that the new crotch piece and the, the shorts and the tears and the open knee pads and everything look great. So that Buddy Murphy will still be a good figure. I'll probably paint, we'll touch up the beard, we'll, you know, paint the rest of it orange in that brownish color and get rid of that darkness and I think it'll be really fire on action figure service. But that is the rest of Buddy Murphy. So moving on forward, guys, we do have my boy Roderick Strong right here. And this is a really nice figure. I think that this figure looks epic sauce. I'm really excited for this one. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with this, the way it turned out. The head sculpt's nice. It does look like this one has a bit of a lazy eye, but it's nothing too crazy. Nothing I couldn't fix or, you know, touch up. And I'm sure not every single one will look that. It's like kind of like one eye is a bit open more than the other. But it looks like Roderick Strong. I like it a lot. And I can't wait to get this. I'll probably torso swap it because he's a bit more ripped up than this now. But that's not, you know, it's not a big deal. I can easily do that. I'm not complaining about it. I think it looks good. I love the the War Games attire. It's great. I wish that, you know, our Elite 71 Adam Cole would have came in this attire. I think that would have been much, much better to match our Roderick Strong. And then later on, you know, how we're getting Elite 2 packs nowadays. If they would have released a Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly in that same attire, I think it would have been epic. But 
no no problems here it is going to come with the undisputed chera and the shirt and the undisputed air hands and everything so roger strong my boy there, looking very nice i love this figure can't wait to finally add roger strong to my collection cannot wait to put him up on the shelf freaking love that so much so roger strong's looking great and we're moving on to the next figure guys which is batista and this figure looks super duper solid i really like this one a lot i love the attire you know when they first showed this at um when they showed this was it comic-con that we first saw the render of this i was really enjoying it i really love the the red boots going on. I think I'm going to fit, do a fix up with this. I'll probably get a couple of these and I'm, I'm really happy with the Batista. I think it turned out nice. Um, one thing I will say is like they gave him the same Elite 33 Batista uh, hat and glasses, which I guess is fine. It's not a big deal, but at the same time, it's like, bro, we got this like 45 series ago or something like or 40 series, almost 40 series ago. But I love all the tattoo decals. They got his new belly button tattoo, his dog tattoos on his thigh, his shoulder tattoos. They didn't continue the shoulder tattoo on the right shoulder, and I don't know what's up with that. I can probably just add that in paint. Another thing I wanted to mention is it doesn't look like it has his nose ring. If it's on there, I can't really see it. I do see a little tick of sculpt right there on his left nostril, and I don't know if that's supposed to be the nose ring. If it's supposed to be the nose ring, then I'm definitely going to have to uh, paint that on or something. If it's if, it, if it's actually sculpted on there, I'll probably paint it blue or whatever, but it doesn't look like it has it, and if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Again, you know, he had it ripped out or whatever, didn't he, by Triple H anyway, so I guess it doesn't make, you know, a big difference, but I love the attire. I always like this Batista attire when he first came out at Mania, and I'll probably do some cool fix-ups with this, but Batista looks fire. I really enjoy the Batista figure. Figure. But moving on to the next figure, guys, is Rey Mysterio. And this Rey Mysterio looks great. I really do like the colors. I hate that we're getting another green Rey Mysterio, but at least it's a little bit different with the black and the white mixed in with the green. You know, this new head sculpt that's smiling looks pretty cool. Really enjoying the way that Ray looks. Uh, it does have like a smirk on it, which I think is new. I don't think we've seen this face sculpt before. Really cool stuff that they did there. I like that they added the the stripes to the boots. I think he has some of the coolest boots in wrestling, so I really like the boots they got going on. I like the new gloved hands that we're getting. They gave him white gloves, and it looks like they made them smaller. I think they did make them smaller compared to the massive hands that the Network Spotlight and the other Elite Ray Mysterio had. Uh, the last two or three, right? So that looks really good. I love how they're pumping out the Ray Mysterio figure since he came back but I really like this attire I think it looks very clean and I like it a lot so I really enjoy the boots and the Rey Mysterio and that is pretty much it for the Rey Mysterio moving on to the next figure and I think it's our last one right we've covered almost the whole set is Becky Lynch you got the man Becky Lynch and she looks good the only thing I will say is that I'm still this is probably the better the probably the best Becky Lynch head sculpt they've made but I don't know what it is I think it's the lips how they're like pushed out or something I'm really not feeling it I think the eyes look a lot closer to Becky Lynch than they've ever came because you you guys know I tear up Mattel all the time for their Becky Lynch head sculpts. It's like they just can't get Becky Lynch right. I don't know what it is. They've done many Becky Lynch figures. None of them really look like Becky Lynch. And this one came close. I think the likeness is there with the with the eyes, but the it's the mouth or something. The mouth is just like it's like she's pushing out for a kiss or something. If you guys can tell, uh, I, am I crazy? It looks like she's like poking her lips out or something. So you know I can I can feel that. But I really like the jacket. I she's got the I am the man jacket on there. She's got interchangeable hands first female figure to come with interchangeable hands and we're finally getting double jointed knee knees with every women's figure i made a mistake in the last video talking about this would be the first double jointed knees uh, women's elite figure but somebody brought it to my attention that the elite 16 miss elizabeth is actually or actually had double jointed knees so that is something to take note of i apologize for that mess up but um i didn't know that i never even realized that but that's pretty cool that all the women will finally have double jointed knees which could lead to women being in the mdt pick fed that's something to take note of but uh becky lynch does have her the man t-shirt and her attire and everything looks good again i just don't know why they made her like poke her lips out i don't know what's up with that um, I would love to know down below what you think of the, you know, the poked out lips. It literally looks like she's reaching out for a kiss with her eyes open or something. I'm not sure about that. But let me know what you think of the whole set, guys. I wanted to put these up, these images up to you guys and let you guys know what everything looks like. How do you feel about Velveteen Dream? I really don't like it. Again, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Buddy Murphy's head sculpt. Please tell me what you think about that and what you think about the beard. Um, Batista, Rey Mysterio, Roderick Strong. I think those are the three strongest in the set. I would say those three are definitely damn near perfect. And then, um... 
The Buddy Murphy is very good as well. Uh, Becky Lynch looks good except for the lips. And Velveteen Dream is just easily the worst figure in the set. I, I just don't like it. But I would love to know all of that stuff down below, guys. Again, I wanted to put this up to you guys. Let you guys know what was up and just show you showcase everything. I think I showed all the accessories, right? Did you guys see the accessories? Uh, we'll run through them real quick. You got interchangeable hands and a shirt with Rey Mysterio, rubber t-shirt. With Batista, you get sunglasses, a microphone, and his little Hollywood hat and interchangeable hands. With Buddy Murphy, you get the Cruiserweight Championship and... And interchangeable pointing fingers with Velveteen Dream. You get his headband, his glasses, and the North American Championship. With Roderick Strong, you get the Undisputed Chera and the Undisputed Era T-shirt, as well as interchangeable hands. And with Becky Lynch, you get the leather jacket, I am the man t-shirt, and or t-shirt, you get the I am the man leather jacket, and you get the interchangeable hands. So I think she comes with, does she come with three interchangeable hands? No, I think it's just two. Okay, they just put the picture. Okay, that's that's pretty much it for Elite Series 72, guys. Let me know down below what you think of all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.